Today we're going to talk about the Duluth, Minnesota real estate market and what you can expect and what's going on here. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss anything. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cody Oakland, a real estate agent here in Duluth, Minnesota. If you're new here and interested in all things real estate in Duluth, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'm getting a ton of questions every day about Duluth. So if you're thinking of moving here, or even if you already live here, call, text, email me anytime. I love helping everybody with their real estate needs here in the Duluth area. And I get a lot of similar questions from everyone uh, looking to purchase homes here. And uh, some of those are, you know, what does it take to get the deal done? Uh, are people using all cash offers only to get the, the homes? Or can I use a loan to purchase everything and actually get my offer accepted? Are people waiving everything like inspections? Are we going to be over asking price? Uh, is it even possible to get something under asking price? Uh, and it all depends. So the answers to all those are yes and no. It just kind of depends on the property and the situation. So let's dive a little deeper on, you know, what it takes to get those deals done and what, uh, what we're seeing here in the Duluth market. Now, because the answers to a lot of these questions are situational, we have to assess each property really individually. And uh, one of the first big questions we should take a look at is, the home priced correctly is it uh, where the market value is round for competing properties in that area that are similar uh, it might even be priced a little low to drive more showings more offers and keep everyone really competitive so that's that's also an option for pricing there and odds are if the the home is in good condition maybe has updates uh, other unique factors we'll talk about in just a second here as well uh, it, it's probably going to sell quickly and there's a lot of offers that are going over the asking price now still uh, and last year was crazy this way as well and it's looking like this year is going to be the same um, unless something changes which is always possible but so far that's kind of what i would expect and it's still possible that an owner and uh, a listing agent will get uh, a little too enthusiastic on pricing and you will notice that a lot of times the homes that are overpriced will sit and sometimes they don't even sell. Even last year, there were still homes in that situation because they were so overpriced. Uh, you know, they just, they'll sit on the market. Uh, they don't get a ton of showings. And that is another opportunity to potentially get something under asking. Um, so that a lot of times that's what you'll see is when something's overpriced, that's your opportunity to possibly get in there, check out the home, um, and get it under what they're asking. So it all just depends. Um, some owners might be more open to negotiating than others. You never know until you're kind of taking a look. So it's good to keep your criteria for your home, um, especially when it comes to price, a little broader at first, uh, just so you don't miss opportunities like that as well. And there are a number of factors that go into pricing a home. A few we're gonna go over in detail here right now, including the condition of the home. And this is a really big one because one, pictures don't always do it justice, even though it's the first thing a lot of people look at. And I always recommend checking properties out in person, if at all possible. If you're not able to come to the area and check out a home, I have a lot of options for viewing the properties from uh, far away. So definitely reach out if you have any questions on that. But uh, the condition of the home can mean anything from maybe it's got some updates, uh, new flooring and fresh paint, anything like that, or total renovation. It could also just be really well maintained over the years and very livable. So it just kind of depends. Those properties will typically have more competition because they're ready to go and involve less time and money to get them ready. So just be aware of that. That is uh, still part of our market here and a lot of markets you'll see most places, but uh, it is a great opportunity to decide what type of property you're okay with because maybe you need something that's updated but uh, your chances at finding more homes and getting a deal done will also increase if you're open to doing a little bit of work even so maybe you don't need that fresh paint ready to go on the house or something like that so this is a, a good chance to decide so not only do you increase the properties that you're looking at that you could make offers on but also you're prepared to make an offer on a home because you know exactly what type of property you're looking for. So this can be a big difference maker when you're uh, house shopping. Now there are gonna be a number of other factors that go into pricing the home here that you're gonna run into that not only make it priced right, 
but really unique and more competitive to a lot of people. And a few of those are going to be one, the lot size, and this is pretty similar for a lot of areas, but is the lot for the home bigger than your typical city lot? Is there already a garage on it? Is there space to build a garage? And even if there's space, uh, the location might not really allow for it, depending on its proximity on the, like, say you're on the Duluth Hill. It just kind of depends property to property. And maybe you're looking in the country and the house has a lot of land that comes with it. Uh, what type of land? Is there a lot of wetland there? Is it really swampy? Uh, can you utilize a lot of the, the property for different things or build on different points of it? So keep, the, keep all that in mind when you're looking at different uh, houses and some other important items are gonna be like the view, especially on the Duluth Hill. What type of view are you looking for? Uh, do you need to lean way over on the window to see a sliver of Lake Superior? Or are you looking for something where you can sit in your living room looking out a bay window and you have full view of Lake Superior? So different things like that are gonna be available. So just because it has a, a view, it says, it doesn't always mean the view you're looking for. So you really gotta handle that property to property because the better the view, a lot of times the more competition you're gonna have. And especially with waterfront property here, we have a lot of lakes and rivers and creeks and different things. So you gotta decide what you're okay with on that as well, because if there's great shoreline and uh, there's a fair, fair amount of land that comes with the lot on, on some waterfront on all kinds of lakes here, it really depends because there's gonna be a lot of competition. And there's gonna be different lakes too. Some are going to be deeper than others. Some are going to be much bigger than others. Like Island Lake is a huge lake here. Um, and you got to decide what is there. Do you want to fish? Are there certain fish the lake has to have? Do you just want something that's very swimmable? So keep all this in mind. And usually the more the property offers, the more competition you're going to run into here. Now, there's also a number of really important items uh, that are still going into offers. They have to be prepared and aware of. Uh, in our market right now and with the competition still high on homes if you go over asking price you really have to be aware of where that home might appraise for because if you're using a bank loan to purchase it that bank's going to require a home appraisal and what if that home appraisal comes in lower than your offer price you should be prepared to cover the gap in financing now maybe you negotiate something where uh, you come down to the appraisal price or you meet somewhere in the middle uh, it's always possible, but you should be prepared if that home appraisal comes in low. You know, what are your plans to cover the, the gap in financing? And when it comes to home inspections, I, I do get a lot of questions on that about uh, what to expect with the market right now. And you are still seeing people waiving inspections. Uh, that's part of any market right now. But there are plenty of people getting their offers accepted, asking for inspection periods. And there's going to be different ways we can make that more competitive as well. So definitely reach out if you have any questions on that. But there's multiple options um, to get your offer accepted when you're asking for an inspection contingency. I will always recommend that as well. Um, so it just kind of depends on what you're okay with. But uh, it is always possible somebody comes in with a cash offer wave and everything. You never know. Um, but it is very possible to still get your offer accepted if you are looking for an inspection on your on the property. Well, there you go. There's some information about the Duluth, Minnesota housing market. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment and share it with a friend. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos about Duluth, Minnesota every week. And if you're looking to buy or sell a home here in the Duluth area, reach out at the phone number or email on the screen below. I'd love to help you.